North Little Rock on the yard. You guessed it. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. I know I am. I'm just out here living the dream. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know, I get a lot of questions. And I'm not talking about just maverick questions. Uh, just the trucking industry in general. Usually some of the questions I get are this. Hey Neil, do you think that I would be able to drive for a living? Hey Neil, do you think this would be a good fit for me? Well, some of these questions that you need to ask yourself, which we're going to talk about, yes, are geared more toward the flatbed world. We'll get into those. But before making the leap into this business, there are some questions you should ask yourself. Matter of fact, I, I wish these questions I'm gonna share with you, I would have asked myself, would it have changed my mind? No, it would not have. But I feel like I possibly could have been better prepared for the transition. And I get it, I totally get it. You're sitting there, you're watching my videos just like I sit where you're sitting, watching Craig Ryan's videos and you know a few other people's videos and I wanted to do this and I did. I reached out to Craig and he was always super nice to me and, and uh, was always willing to answer my questions and you know we conversed back and forth. But the first question you need to ask yourself is, what kind of home time do I need? A lot of companies, Maverick included, you look on their website and it's gonna say home most weekends. And a lot of people get it in their head that if I'm gonna be home on the weekend, that means that I'll be home Friday sometime and I'll leave Monday. Good luck with that theory. That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna say it's not ever gonna happen. But most of the time, you're gonna be there for about 34 hours, 36 hours, 40, you know, if you're lucky, 48, 56. I mean, just bank on 34 hours. Get your mind wrapped around the concept that you're gonna be down for 34 hours at the house and you're gonna to to be rolling again. That's just gonna make it much easier on you when the time comes that you do need to roll. And if you get more than 34 hours, just consider it luck of the draw for you at that time. Another thing you need to ask is how much family time do you need? And that's gonna sound kind of mean, but you know, you gotta realize you may be in an occupation right now that you are home every night you're there with your wife and your children every night, however it works for you, and now all of a sudden, you're there two nights a week. You're only gonna see your children two days a week. So, you need to consider that. You need to ask yourself that question. Do you like to be alone? Do you like alone time? because you're gonna have plenty of it out here on the road. And I mean plenty of it. Um, you know, there's gonna be days that you'll see other drivers pass you by. You may have a little interaction inside a truck stop somewhere getting fuel, but for the most part, you're gonna be by yourself. There's a learning curve in this business. 
Am I prepared for the learning curve? What do I mean by that? Well, if you don't have a CDL, you're going to have to get a CDL. A lot of these companies now will sponsor you in that endeavor. But can you accomplish that task at hand? To me, that was the simplest process I had to go through uh, in this whole equation. That was the simplest piece of the puzzle, was getting my CDL, my commercial driver's license. Yes, you do have to study. Yes, you do have to take a written exam. You will be required to take a road test. You will be required to do skills, an offset, back, a straight line back, a 90 degree alley dock. You will be graded on those. If you can't perform that, you will not pass. So realize there is a learning curve. That learning curve does not stop there. The trip planning comes in. You know, there's more to it, just plugging it in GPS and rolling down the road. That GPS can get you in trouble. You have to trip plan. You need a motor carrier's atlas to confirm that route. I look at Google Maps. Um, I look at my GPS. I look at the atlas. So those are things you're going to have to consider. Are you going to be able to do that? When we talk about a learning curve, there's also going to be the securement training for flatbed. Time management for the ELDs. All those things are going to play factors. All of those things are going to be a learning curve if you've never done those. So you need to consider all that. What about the elements? Are you going to be able to get out and work in the elements? If you uh, need to, in other words, you know, say it's five degrees and spitting snow, freezing rain, you pull into a shipper or a consignee and they say, hey driver, go ahead and untarp right out there. Unsecure, that's where we're going to unload you at. You're going to be out in the elements working. Or you're down in Laredo, Texas, fixing to get loaded. Driver, we're going to load you right here. Outside, 110 degrees. You're going to have to secure and tarp outside. So, you need to consider that. Another question you need to ask yourself is, what about the physicality of this job? Can I physically do this job? Flatbed, you're going to be manhandling tarps. For example, that eight foot drop tarp weighs about 110, 120 pounds. Are you going to be able to pick that up and put it on the deck of the trailer? Are you going to be able to manhandle that over the top of an aluminum coil that's about six and a half foot tall? You got to. It's got to be done. And uh, so, you know, you got to realize, I, you know, what I'm saying this, I'm not trying to talk you out of coming into this industry. I'm just trying to help you be better prepared. There's a lot of factors to consider. When you begin to realize that you're fixing to make the leap from your current occupation into this. You need to look at all the avenues, you need to look at all the options, you need to put everything in the balances and say, is this for me? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to come into this, you need to give this six months, a year, before you're going to see your maximum potential reached. It's not going to happen right out of the gate. It's just not going to. Hey, as always, I appreciate y'all watching this. Uh, tagging along with me. You got any questions? I'll be more than happy to help you out in any way I can. Uh, drop me an email. Drop me a comment down below. We'll talk about it. Uh, drop me your phone number. Ask me to call you. I'll, I'll call you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you. I'll tell you what I know. Uh, you can pick my brain. Uh, there's not much of it there, but you can pick what's there. <laughs> As always, thank y'all for watching. We're just living the dream. All right. I just got fuel here in Texarkana.
Let's see if we can't go around here and find us a parking spot. kind of got a challenge going on of course it's not going to be a problem here to uh, not buy a parking <laughs> how about that looks like I'll get right here beside DX if there's nothing setting back in there and there's not so that's where I'm going, right there. Let me turn the old flashers on. Let Mr. Camper Trader get out of the way. Let's see what we can get done. not be able to do I would not be able to do what I'm doing the way I've done it if there had been trucks sitting here so you got to keep that in mind Let me tell you what went on today. I got unloaded down in Mount Pleasant, and um, we uh, sat there for about 30 or 45 minutes, maybe, uh, after I got unloaded. And they put a dead, or they, not a dead hit, but they put an order on me, a load. Uh, I had to come, I'm going back up to Nashville, Arkansas, getting a load of sheetrock, and it's going back down to Houston, Texas for Thursday. And I will not get loaded up there until in the morning. And uh, so, that's where we're at. Stay tuned. I'll let you know what I get um, out of Houston. Probably show you a little footage tomorrow, maybe, of the uh, She Rock. As always, appreciate y'all watching and uh, tagging along with me. Y'all take care. Be safe. Just remember, living the dream.